Well, greetings from the high pen. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Friday, August 28, 2020. Thanks for joining me. I would like to bring you said information by Fox News if you need verification for the storyline. Sex abuse allegation of soldier found dead, unsubstantiated. Army says family disputes claim. Everything was great until he was sexually assaulted by his staff sergeant, an attorney for the Fernandez family said. And there is a video in the said commentary. The family of a Fort Hood soldier was found dead miles from the Texas base this week, disputes the Army's assertion that his claims of sexual abuse were unfounded. Sergeant Elder Fernandez, 23, previously reported being sexually assaulted, alleging someone grabbed his buttocks, Damon Phelps, an agent with the Army's Criminal Investigation Division, CID, told KCEN-TV. Our investigation has been completed and is with the command and their legal team for further action if warranted, Phelps said. I can also share that the subject of the investigation took and passed a polygraph examination, and we found no witnesses that could corroborate Sergeant Fernandez's allegations. There was a thorough legal review, and the allegations were unsubstantiated. Fernandez's family alleges an assault happened and negatively impacted Fernandez's Fernandez mental health. Sorry. He didn't have any mental health issues when he joined the Army. Family attorney Natalie Kawam said in a press conference, according to the Austin American Statement, he re-enlisted this year. He told his mom how happy he was to serve. Everything was great until he was sexually assaulted by his staff sergeant. He was upset and humiliated. That information was then shared with his new unit. Unfortunately, then the hazing and bullying continued. He, he, she continued. Fernandez had been transferred to a new unit within the sprawling Central Texas military installation after reporting sexual abuse, Fort Hood, soldiers, Fort Hood officials said. Calls and messages to CID from Fox News were not returned. Kawan also represented the family of 20-year-old SCC Vanessa Gillian. The Fort Hood soldier found dead last month after an intense month-long search effort. She also claims to be the victim of sexual assault. Fernandez was reported missing August 19th and was last seen two days prior. He was found Tuesday near railroad tracks in Temple, about 30 miles away from the base, according to Kawam. Authorities do not suspect foul price. Fernandez's death is the latest in a string of tragedies at Fort Hood. Gillian disappeared in April after making a sexual abuse claim. Another soldier from the base, Aaron Robinson, killed himself as authorities were moving in to make an arrest. Cicely Aguilar, 22, who did not guilty last month, who helping Robinson dispose of Gillian's remains. Okay. And also, Special Francisco Gilberto Hernandez Vargas, 24, died in a boating accident on Stillhouse Hollow Lake in early August. In July, Private Mejor Morton, 26, drowned also at Stillhouse Lake. So this is odd to me. Uh, this is Fox News if you need uh, verification. Uh, for the storyline. But this is interesting, this last part of the story where it says Gilberto Hernandez Vargas died in a boating accident on Steelhouse Hollow Lake in August. And then in July, Private Mejor Morton, 26 drowned also at Steelhouse Lake. So one died from a boating accident in August. And then Morton, 26 drowned at the same lake. It's very odd to me. Uh, that's the said information coming out of Texas. Once again, a sad situation. The Army is now saying that the allegations that uh, Fernandez had against the star staff sergeant, the allegation, allegation, is or unsubstantiated. So we now know that it was a staff sergeant, so it was a superior. His family is saying that. The aunt was saying he was happy before this alleged uh, allegation took place, months before. So now we find out also that he was bullied by his comrades. So that would make sense to why he would feel some type of way. And, and he was also been treated at a hospital before he went missing when he, his mother uh, did not get contact from him again. And she was waiting to hear from him. He never called her. I think he was released the day before he was supposed to contact her. So you see, here is the pattern. He makes the claim. The claim gets out in the unit. People start bothering him, harassing him, messing with him. Then he gets transferred. They probably heard the same thing. It's a base. It doesn't matter what the square footage is, the acreage. Word gets around quick. It's a group. It's a unit. It's a, you know, it's an entity. It's one entity. I don't care if you got 5,000 people on the base. It's still an entity, and word gets out. So it wouldn't matter where he got transferred to. So long as he was a member of the Army, 
And on that day, they were going to find out, people were going to find out. Now, police are saying that it appears to be a suicide, but the investigation is still ongoing. Let me make that clear. Ruled a homicide, but the investigation is still going, and the Army is saying that his allegations against the staff sergeant are unsubstantiated. This is still a horrific case. All these dead soldiers, whether they drown, boating accident, murder by a comrade, murder by outside party, civilian, it's still buffoonery, and there's something going on at this place. There's something going on in Colleen. I don't know what it is, but as I state, they need to do evaluations of all comrades, all superiors. Everyone needs to get a mental evaluation, and somebody needs to check these people out because something is wrong with these people. And it's just sickening to know that this young man was being harassed by another man, because I'm assuming the staff sergeant is a male. I could be wrong. could be a woman. But they haven't clarified if it was a woman, so I'm just going to assume it's a man. Why is a man grabbing another man's buttocks? So basically you're saying that you're homosexual. Grabbing your comrade's personal body parts. And you're thinking that's okay. And it'd be no different if it was a man grabbing a woman's buttocks. You damn know you don't have no business putting your hands on anyone on that base or anybody's body parts, period, on or off the base. It's disrespectful and it's a violation of that person's personal rights. And you know better. And what did you think? Oh, he's a petite guy. He won't mind. He ain't going to fight back. He ain't going to play back there. Well, he did. And now he goes missing and then later found dead. Suicide, so they say. Everything's up for interpretation. Did he kill himself? Or, hell, did somebody put him in that tree? I don't know. But the fact that they're saying where he was found is probably, what, 30 minutes away or more from the base? How did he get there? Did he drive himself there? Did he own a car? I'm just saying. How did he get to that location? And you're especially going to wonder that if he didn't own an automobile. So I'm just saying. I don't know. Maybe somebody can find out. Let me know. And if he owns a car, where is his car? Just saying. Troublesome, troublesome situations, occurrences, murders, death from Fort Hood. And something needs to be done about it. I think they need to just close the base altogether and be done with it. That's, that's my personal feeling about that situation. Prayers to the Fernandez family, the Gillian family, the Morton family. Prayers for all these young people who are now no longer with us and who went into the service to serve, but now they are no longer with us for heinous reasons, be it by their own or by others killing them. This is terrible. Thank you all for joining me. Drop your comments below. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe. Have a wonderful week. And, well, weekend, excuse me. And until the next video, this is Everyday Shenanigans. Bye-bye.